Hey guys, well here we are, part two, using a Walmart paint. Uh, going to use a rattle can also, but something you can pick up at Walmart. I said we'd do this for two weeks. We may extend it another week. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. But for now, let's go to the workbench and do it with our Walmart paints. Alright guys, we're ready to start. And this is another one. This is our second in our series of Walmart Apple Barrel brand paints, as I said. And we started this one out ahead of time too, because in this situation, that base coat is Rust-Oleum plastic paint. Any, in this situation, any rattle can black plastic would have done the job. That's just something I had from, I have no idea what I painted black, but I painted something black, so I had it on hand. So, did this yesterday, so it's been sitting for 24 hours. Give it a good chance to dry because it's coming out of that rattle can, dries a little slower. We're not going to put a wrap. We're going to do something that I've done a long time ago, and you might not have seen it when I did it because it's been so long. We're going to use some masking tape or painter's tape. The same thing I use when I paint off the bill. Tape that off so you won't get paint on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to use kind of a fire tiger pattern. And that calls for some stripes like that on the side. So what I've done basically is taken some of the tape and I've taken an X-Acto knife and I've cut them into stripes. And now we're going to put some of them on the lure here. So I got them all set ahead of time. Save a little time there. You can get them cut and... And uh, I might have to get these out of the way where I can see it better. But we're just going to pick them off the can. And we're just going to put them right on the lure. If we get too far on the top, once we get up in the top, we'll just take the knife, give it a cut, cut them off. So, and there's however you want to do it, however many you want, however close you want them together, whatever you want. That's what you do. And we're going to put some paint on top. So how these things end up on the top, it really isn't going to matter in the long haul. Now let's see. I think we can probably put maybe four on each side. Sound about right. Put that one like that. You don't have to, you know, don't push them down real hard, but just, you know, give them a good stick. You'll be okay. And let's see if we can get one more back here in the back. There we go. Now, save a little time. I'm going to turn it over, do the other side, and I'll come back to you when that's done. All right, I now have them on both sides. Got them covered. Now, here's one thing. You can take a look at the top. You see they don't line up real. I mean, I've got them lined up, so I'm sure they're in the same place, but there may be gaps or it may not be quite straight. Don't worry about that because what we're going to end up doing, we're done. We're going to take our black and make one stripe right down the back with the black. That's going to take care of that problem. All right, we have this all in place. We're in good here. Like every time else, when we do stuff, whether it's let me switch this over to the regular uh, clips again. But as I started to say, it's just like we do when we're using a wrap or anything else. If we want the colors right, need a base coat. Only this time around, it's apple barrel white. And we're going to see. I think I did this last weekend. I found out I think I had to thin this down at some point in time. Didn't remember it. But it seems... Not too bad. We're gonna, but I will tell you what, I want it just the tiniest amount. And I know that doesn't seem like much, but you'd be amazed what just the tiniest little amount will do. Because the apple barrel sometimes has a harder time shooting through sometimes. Now I'm going to make sure i got enough paint because i got to do the whole thing, don't I? 
All right, let's see if we cover. Well, we turned it gray so far. Let's see if we can turn it white next, huh? <laughs> Oh, got a splash there, but we'll live with that. A little bit thick yet for shooting through, but it is going through. So we're getting there. It just takes us a little longer than we might normally do it. Another add of water might have helped. Yeah, I think we were a little plugged up too. There we go. We should be good that. We're going to find out anyway. All right, let me clean the white up and we'll move on and try some colors. Now, next thing we're going to want to do is the belly. And we're going to do that with yellow. Just Plain old apple barrel yellow. There we go. That one's definitely a little bit thicker. Yeah, a little white won't hurt it, will it? Nah. Just get her mixed up good. And, well, that looks not bad, huh? That's a little better, I think. That came out of there a little better. All right, let's work on that belly. Full length. We're gonna go up the side a little ways with it. And there is our yellow. All right, that's as far as I wanna go up. Now we're gonna come back. Let me clean this out a little bit. I got a little bit of orange I wanna put up on that belly yet. Okay. I went ahead and rinsed these out real quick, just so I can use them again. I got a gloss instead of the flat again here. I got a pumpkin orange. Apple barrel pumpkin orange. Must have used this for something at one time, maybe. I don't remember. Way more than I need again. But that's okay. We'll get by with it. There is other stuff you can buy to thin this besides water, but I figure it's water-based paint, so that's what we're going to do. And as a reminder, this paint is not designed to be used in situations like this. It's more of a craft paint, so the color pigments are a little bigger than normal, and sometimes you can have problems plugging up your sprayer. Little orange, all right. We're just going to go from probably the hook set forward, so I'm going to put most of the paint on the bill. Just a little bit of orange there is what I'm after. That's all I wanted. That's all I got. All right, clean up. We'll start working on the top side. All right, need to start working on the top side. We're going to start out. Uh, I believe I picked this color up because one of the early colors I was using you couldn't find anymore. This one is called Parakeet. I'm looking basically for a light green. That's all I'm looking for. I mean, you don't have to use the same one, but if you do, it is called Parakeet. Parakeet. There we go. Throw a little of that in. Find my water. And, yeah, we're using the same stick. Well, I'll tell you, that's a lot like my, uh, that's a lot like my lime, my pearlized lime I like in the Createx colors. I'm going to have to use this color a little more often, huh? All right, let me get some of this in. I'm trying to get as much out as I can because I'm going to reuse this cup here in a minute. All right, here we go. 
It'll go down the sides. We can get up towards the top. I'm not going to be really worried about the top because we're going to put something else up there yet. I got paint, so I might as well use it. There we go. I kind of like that. All right, hang on. Let me clean this up quick. I got another color green. All right, here we go. Green is green. Kelly green. Nice dark colored green. Next. We're just using the same one. Green is green, right? We'll put plenty in because uh, not that we're going to use it, but the green we left in here is going to dilute that some, so I don't need a real bright green. That is the nice thing you can do with the Walmart paints like this. That is really cool. They have so many colors. Just start putting them together. You know, you don't like, you don't want that green and that green? I'll put the two together. Experiment. Now, there was a time I used to actually keep track of how many drops of one color I put in another, so I figured if I ever get the right color, I wouldn't be able to match it again. And then down the line, I figured, duh, that fish don't care. You know, so I, I kind of quit doing that. But you can sure mix these up, mix them together. They work real well that way, just as well. And invent all your own colors. That way, definitely for sure, no one's ever seen that if you invent your own color. All right. Let's throw a little of this in. Right. Come on, baby. Get a little plugged up there. Back flush that a bit. There we go. That's the only drawback. The Walmart paints is they tend to sometimes plug. We're going to try to get through it here. I think we can. I'm kind of back pushing it a little bit. Takes a little extra, but I, I hate to take it all the way apart. All right, there we go. That took a little extra to get that on there. I probably could have taken the whole thing apart, made it a lot easier on myself, but we'll live with that. All right, here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna pull the paint off, so what I wanna do, I'm gonna get the heat gun, and I wanna make sure I get this good and dry. So I'm gonna dry this off good, then we'll go ahead and pull the paint off, or tape off. Okay, I think we're ready to roll. Got it dried just a little bit. And I'm just going to use the X-Acto knife to kind of get a piece of it. Hopefully I got this up in front where you guys can see this. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. Sometimes I got to be able to see it and then I don't get it where you can see it. Don't try to get a hold of that in the bottom. There we go. It's always help remember which side you put on top of the other when they overlap. As you can see so far, we're doing pretty good with it. Not having a problem yet. Every once in a while you'll pop a little paint off, but the rattle can tends to be honest to stick in and hold on a little better than sometimes the, the Createx. So if you're using the rattle can, there's no reason why you can't do that. Well, I get the tape off me. Get rid of that. There we go. We got our stripes. Now, as I said, the top's going to be a little funny, so we want to do something with that. So, let's get our 
jet black. Yeah, I just took a paper towel, wiped that out quick. Figured that was probably good enough. Let's get ourselves some black paint here. And uh, do some mixing. And I got that too much water. I can tell you right now, I put too much water in that. Fortunately, Apple Barrel doesn't cost much, does it? At 50 cents a bottle, we gotta throw away a little, we throw away a little. All right. Let's see if we got our plug out of there too. I did a lot of black flushing in between here. Oh yeah. Right down the back. Now, this may not be as glossy as that paint was, so it may look a little different in that respect, but when we put a top coat on, I think we'll kind of make up for that. And I'm trying to decide, and I am not. I, for a minute here, I was just about thinking maybe I'm gonna go around the face, but you know what? I am not gonna do that. I wanna leave that face just the way it is. All right, there you go. Nice stripes, they look good. And it's just a little masking tape. Take some tape, cut some stripes, put them on. You can make it look pretty good and professional. Even if your very first time out, as long as you got an X-Acto knife and some tape. We need an eye. Well, we better put two eyes, shouldn't we? We need eyes and we need a top coat. And let's see where we go from there. Well, there we go, guys, our Fire Tiger pattern using Walmart paint. And as I've said, when you're starting out, you're not sure if you want to invest a lot of money. There you go, 50 cent a bottle at Walmart, and you can paint a pretty decent fishing lure. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.